Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I wanted to do sort of a first impressions video, but using some new products that I have been loving at the moment and I haven't shared with you, and also some new products I haven't tried at all, which is a first impressions as well. So it's a bit of both. Um, it's just some brand new products I'm using, and it's not the same old products that I've been using for so long, and I know you guys are like, oh my god, it annoys you. So I know what you mean. So I decided to do a tutorial. It's quite cool to Toned, winking at you yeah it's quite a cool toned uh, makeup look and yeah so if you want to know all the products that I've been using some new ones and some new products that I've used in today's video some like hit or miss ones then please keep watching so I have already done my brows I always say this in so many tutorials at the moment I just feel like brows are just so I'm putting Vaseline on they're just so time consuming and I feel like I've taught you guys a lot, um, or I hope I have, um, with brows and what I do, it, my technique really hasn't changed. Um, I'll see, I'll look at my old tutorial and see what it's like and then I'll list it down below for you guys. Um, but if you did want to see an updated one, then let me know because I will film it for you. It's just something that for me, they take forever, like forever. I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed, thank goodness, because it's been so long and say so long as if I've had them done. I haven't had them done. I really, really want them done because I stress about my brows so much and they look really thick and all of that they're really not and I just hate doing them that like, I hate it so I have decided to go get them done but I'll probably talk to you guys about that another time um so yeah I'm basically just going to share with you guys some products that I either haven't tried or um, I have tried and I love and I haven't shared with you basically so I'm going to start off with the iconic um retexturizing face primer I never use primer ever but I thought, I got this in a calendar for Christmas, like the Iconic London one, and I've never used it. So I thought, what a better way to show you guys what I think about it, because I know a lot of you guys do use primer. I did put moisturiser on my face before, I always do. I put moisturiser, cleanse it and stuff, moisturiser, then do my brows, and then do everything else. Yeah. Feels really nice. It's not like too thick. I hate primers that are just like thick on your skin, and I feel like it doesn't actually stick the foundation. I feel like it sort of wipes it off. Like, I feel like the foundation slides off does that make sense so i think i'm just gonna really moisturize it into my skin get in the pores and all of that good stuff so a foundation i have been obsessed with at the moment and i don't think i could change unless i don't know if there's like a better one um it's the new nars natural radiant longwear foundation i think i have used this in the tutorial before but it's like been a new one of mine and i love it like I literally it's just my favorite thing ever and yeah so i just get a brush this one is just a concealer brush um i've got a code for these brushes i will list them down below for you guys if you do want to get 70 percent off um, but yeah, i literally just apply it on my face with the brush it doesn't have to be like completely even but just sort of make sure you're spreading it around i'm just going to use a foundation brush to blend it in first and then i use a beauty blender afterwards i always do <laughs> I'm gonna use is the NARS um, creamy concealer in the shade custard I used to use this like three years ago I think um, and it used to be my favorite but then I found a cheap alternative which was the fit me concealer by Maybelline and I was like oh my god it's just so much cheaper and I sort of preferred the coverage a bit but um, I found this in my drawer and I was like oh my god I can use this I haven't used this in so long and it takes me away from them fit me one <laughs> So you guys don't hate me. I'm then just gonna use a beauty blender to blend it into my skin. And then for powder, I am gonna stick with my Rimmel Stay Matte. And um, the reason is I did get the Bourjois Healthy Mix one, but I'll show you the colour difference. It's so dark for my skin, and I like translucent one. Um, as you can see, it's a lot darker, and it's just I don't know. I put it in my makeup bag, but I don't. It's not really like the powder's good, but the colour's not basically. So yeah, so I'm just gonna stick with this one. So now I'm looking all nice and pale. I'm gonna use the Mac Give Me Sun um, bronzer. Look how sad this is, guys. Are you ready? It's all cracked. I just, li it literally breaks my heart when anything's like cracked like that. 
um, and I'm just gonna contour my face. So now the bronzer's done, I'm gonna move back to my base after I've done my eyes. I've got three palettes. The first one is by Blended Edge Cosmetics. I got a sent this ages ago, and I think they sent it to my old address, but it looks like this. How pretty is that? Um, it, I don't, I have to remember. Oh, they are pigmented. Okay. Oh, the mattes are a little bit chalky. That's what I remember from it, but it is really, really beautiful. So I'm thinking of using this one. Oh, I love this color. Oh my God, that's so pretty. So I'm thinking of using that, or I've got two other ones that I haven't tried. This is the Glam Reflection. I use the two other Glam Reflections um, because I think there's three, but this is the one I haven't used because the colors are quite, I suppose they're mixed, warm and cool tones, but I don't really use blues but I do use oranges so I don't know but I feel like I really like the top line here so I don't know and then the next one that I never use and I think I've like swatched maybe I've used in one video did I do a video on this one I can't remember but it's the subculture palette um oh no it's the prism one that I haven't tried let me get prism so it's this palette that I haven't used look how new it looks oh, oh my god I haven't even swatched it <gasps> Oh my god, that's oh this is such a nice palette. Oh my god, I love this. So maybe we'll try Prism and the Glam Reflection Smoke palette. So let's use this one and then Prism because I feel like the colours are quite similar but different, if you know what I mean. So yeah. Oh my god, I can't believe I haven't used this. <gasps> Shut up. That yellow. Oh my god, that's insane. I know I'm gonna love this palette. I just know it. I know it. Isn't it the best thing, like, when you get a new palette and you take away the shield thing from the mirror and the mirror is so clear and you're like, oh my god, except I can't actually do it today, what is going on? For the base, I'm going to use the shade Unity, which is this one here, and I'm literally just going to pop this all over. I'm going to pick up this colour here and put it in my tear duct and brow bone. And then for the first colour of my transition, I'm going to use, I really like this colour here, which is Lure, um, and Parallel I like. So I might do like a mauvey, pinky sort of eye look. I feel like I haven't done that in so long. So I'm going to grab, what shade? This one here, I think. Actually, I'm going to mix these two together. Oh, that's a lot of fallout. Um, and pop this in my crease as a transition. Bit dark, but we'll work with it. And then I'm gonna grab grip. I'm gonna grab the shade Lure, which is this one here. See what this looks like on. I'm gonna use that same colour Lure on the lower lash line, so I'm gonna use a thinner brush. And then with that same colour, I'm gonna sort of create like an arch. In my eye. And then what I'm going to do is grab the shade Parallel from the Prism palette. It's like a warm brown. Brown. A warm brown. And just follow that on the outer vein in the crease. And go down a bit. Just keep blending that colour. I'm gonna do is grab this shade here from the BH palette just with my finger and pop it in the middle So I've just put eyeliner and mascara on. I'm going to show you what I used on this eye. So I get sent really luckily um, a box subscription called Glossy Box. I love them. It's weird because, what's that? Um, I used to buy Glossy Box like a couple of years ago and now I'm getting sent them. It's so weird. Um, but anyway, they, inside this month, it was this eyeliner and it's a pen. I never really, I think when you're a beginner, it's amazing because it's a lot easier to control. This pen, I'm not even joking. Like, I'll show you on my hand now. Don't know if you can see, like a great swatch. Um, It's 
so 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 good and it i don't i just oh my god it's just amazing i'm so picky because i feel like i got one the other day from maybelline and i was putting it on and it was just going patchy and i was like oh but this is actually insane so i'm literally gonna line my lash line And then for mascara, you guys have seen me use this, but it's the new one that I really, really love. Um, it's the Iconic London one. It's the Boom Lashed, amazing. And then after that, I'm gonna apply some lashes. They look like this. I actually made them, so I, you li I literally stacked two pairs of lashes that I thought would go together on top. It's created my like ideal lash ever but i'm gonna do it off camera because it never goes right on camera ever so i'll be back in a minute are you filming <laughs> gradient kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills I haven't actually used this I've got a box full of Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup or Anastasia whatever you guys say and I haven't actually used this before um oh it looks a bit dark for my liking mm, I don't think I'm a fan actually we'll see if it can work I let's go with let's go with this one here because it might look better on you never know let's try I'm just gonna lightly Oh, it actually looks quite nice. Sort of blushes everything up a little bit. I will blend it in with a massive brush after. But yeah, I do like that. Okay, I judged, sorry. I'm just not a fan of completely matte um, blushes because I think when you smile, if it's got a bit of shimmer and the light gets to your cheeks, it makes your cheeks look bigger. So what I'm gonna do, is I just remembered in Glossy Box, um, it came with a blush as well. So I'm gonna apply this blush over the top. It's got a slight shimmer to it. So can you see, like, if I smile, how much better that side look to this side? Highlighter, I'm gonna use this Sleek Makeup um, Highlighting Palette in 32, I believe. I've never used this. Um, inside, it does look a little bit pinky. I don't know if you can see. So there's two shades here which are cream highlighters and then these two which are powder. I'm going to go in with this shade here. The only thing I don't like about things like this is that when you open it, it stops here. And I feel like I like to hold the whole palette. I don't, I don't know, I hate it when it's like that. But hey ho. It's a bit light, but we're going to work with it. And if not, I'm going to go back to my Anastasia, so we'll just see. I'm just going to go in. It is pretty, but it is too light for me. No, I'm not a fan of the colour, guys. No. So I'm going to use Anastasia. My trusty Amrezy one, which is just my little baby. I love it so much. The colour is perfect for my skin tone. But again, it suits so many other people as well. Like, it's not just... Oh, I don't know how to explain it. It just suits so many people. For lips, I'm going to use some Vaseline. I always use Vaseline because I have to. Don't want to get chapped lips, guys. I'm still going to use my Rimmel Cappuccino lip liner. I haven't found a lip liner that I like as much as this. And it's so hard. But it's just my favourite, like, nude shade. I love it. So I'm going to line my lips and I'll use a different lip combo in the middle. So for lips, I'm going to use two. Um, the first, they're both from Anastasia. They're both their liquid lipsticks. One of them's in Rock Sand, and then one of them is in Starfish. I'm just going to mix them to see what they look like because the colour looks really pretty. So just going to mix and see how it goes. I always feel like they are, uh, but, well, what? They're a lot darker when you put them on um, than they look in the bottle. So I think mixing would be best. I just don't like it. I feel like the lips don't go with the, they're not, they're not cool enough. 
Not, not like they're not cool, but like they're, cool, they're not cool tones. So I think we know what that means. I need to take it off and do it again. Like that lip combo is not good. I like the formula, but the colour for this look is not right. Gonna line with cappuccino again. And then I'm gonna use just my trusty NYX lingerie lipstick in the shade Corset. It's just my baby. Like, I love it. So to set everything in place, I'm gonna use the Sun Kissed Perfect, perf uh, what? Sun Kissed Perfect Fix Plus on my face. So everyone, this is the final result. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope it's been informative for you if you wanted to see some new products that I've been trying at the moment and some first impressions today. So yeah, if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you beauties in my next video. Bye.